Hey, it's Danielle with an update for my healing situation. This is actually, I forgot to mention it in the last video, but I decided I was only going to do updates every two weeks. My recovery is pretty mundane at this point. There's not a lot to share. I'm just kind of moving through it, taking it, taking it a day at a time. My cells are regenerating and growing and that's pretty much all that's happening so there wasn't really a lot to say but that being said this is an update for weeks five six and seven and uh, everything's still going pretty well i feel really good um i think the biggest things that have happened is that i no longer having any bandages i don't wear bandages anymore i'm all closed up um there's just scars back there now and i started using lotion again which was a very big deal to me. I am a moisture girl. I like being moisturized. So I was happy to put lotion on my back again after not wearing lotion since August of 2020. Um, so those those two things were really happy. And I made sure to celebrate it because once you're getting back to all the things that you hadn't been able to do in a while, they're worthy of celebration. So yeah, I was really extra that day. And I have started working again. That wasn't a big transition either. I work from home. So it was just a matter of me doing my job, I don't have to drive to work or anything like that. So it wasn't a major transition. And uh, I am still on the vancomycin. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my last video. I think it actually happened after I posted my last video. But whenever you're on this medication, they do blood work twice a week. I personally do blood work on Mondays and Thursdays. And after about two weeks, they realized that my the levels of vancomycin in my blood were consistently low. And that basically means that my body was metabolizing it too quickly. So they increased my dose from one gram to 1.5 grams and that increased my infusion time. So I take my medicine instead of an hour um, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. every day and 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. I take it from 9 to 10.30. It's an hour and a half infusion time twice a day. So I'm getting, I mean, I'm used to that by now. By the time I'm done with this medicine, it'll be a total of 10 weeks that I, I've taken the vancomycin. Um, it's been funny, I've had to get really creative with how I carry it sometimes. I'm moving about life a little more. I I work on my business as well, so sometimes my mornings are early and I'll have the vancomycin pouch like tied to me in some way so that my hands are free. Um, they do advise, you know, trying to sit and just like watch TV whenever you're, you're doing the infusion, but sometimes life calls for other things and you just have to get creative so it's been funny some of the ways that I found myself carrying the vancomycin like I literally strap it to me like a baby or I carry it in the hoodie of a jacket if I don't have a pocket um, and sometimes I do have pockets but it's kind of chubby so it doesn't always fit into a pocket nicely but other than that everything is going well I look I'm looking forward to starting Pilates. I think I'm going to actually ease into it today. <laughs> Later today, I'll, I'll do like a beginner's Pilates for the first time. I don't want to do anything too crazy, but I, and I, I don't feel strong necessarily because I haven't been working my body in that way. So I'm, I'm really just going to take a beginner's class, but I do feel um, ready to try something. So, and my doctor said, I could try to start doing that stuff once my my wound healed and it's officially healed now. So I also did take a trip. I traveled. Um, I'll make a separate video. I started making a separate video about that, just about traveling with the medicine and packing it in a way that TSA approves of. And um, yeah, that was those are all the big updates. I think I but like I said, I, I feel pretty good. I, and when I did travel, that was my first time actually dressing up. And before I went on my trip, when I saw my doctor and he renewed my IV meds for a couple of weeks, I was kind of bummed because I was hoping I could have the, the pig line removed. It's not until you're trying to look cute that you realize like, oh man, it's kind of messing up my outfit, but that's literally the least of my problems. So it was fine and uh, I, feel, I feel great. I'll update in two weeks. I'm really trying to rack my mind if there's anything that I forgot, but I don't think there is. I, I did want to say thank you on video as well to Jen Gorman of Wellness in Motion. She's been such a great resource. Um, she's a yoga teacher who has a spinal fusion and practices yoga and Pilates 
with a spinal fusion. We, we do move around in the world a little differently, especially when it comes to doing things actively. So yeah, she's been so helpful and kind, and I'm really happy that I connected with her. She's also the person that connected me with a girl in Norway that had pretty much the same surgery as me, hardware removal for a spinal fusion due to an infection, and she's also doing really well. So I, I'm really grateful for her. She's been such a great person to have connected with. And that being said, I think that's it. I'll update y'all soon enough. Um, I think I see the massage in my future. I, I kind of put some pressure on my back and I don't think I feel comfortable yet, but I'm gonna wait a couple more weeks and hopefully before the summer's over, I can make that appointment. So feeling good. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out um, in the comments or I think on YouTube, you can just select my email and that's available to anyone that needs it. So I'll update y'all soon.